Otto Gunther. I don't think you could think of a more German name. It's a little bit more of that European German style. I really feel like I, uh, I fell asleep and got on a plane and woke up in Germany. <laughs> Honestly, in 2024, there's probably just as many black people in Germany as there are here. Aha! Focus, man. So they got these huge palm trees everywhere. I'm not sure if they're imported or if they grow here naturally, but I'm assuming they grow here naturally because it's just too many of them. And if they didn't have the right weather here for them, I doubt they could survive the whole year. It's giving me a West Coast vibe. Then you got these buildings like this one we're coming up to now, which is purely German architecture. All right, here we got a monument to some fighters. Hopefully this is to the independence movement. If it's not, I'm going to be very disappointed. So let's see what they're saying here. Okay, so we got this guy on the top of the rock. He does not look African. And then we got this other dude who also does not look African. Should I be surprised? I don't even know. And it says here that uh, it's all in German, so then you know it wasn't about the Africans. It says something like, My God, for the Kaiser und Reich, Captain am Hoge des Marine Expedit Kurz. Uh, so my German is not that good. It's something about for the kingdom and some kind of expeditions. I guess. Um, <clears throat> this was um, in 1904. It looks like it's saying. Hit that like button. I'm putting in work out. Yeah, but some of these last names don't look German. So now I'm even more confused. We shall see. We shall see. Alright, there's another plaque here. Now this plaque may be no, this one is also in German. Okay. They really don't want us to know what's going on here. Uh, and all these last names look German. So, like I said, my theory... Yeah, I was right. 1904 to 1905. So, the Germans who colonized this place made a monument to themselves. Which isn't surprising. But the fact that they're such a minority is surprising so it would be like if um, if the American settlers and Christopher Columbus and all the rest of the Europeans were like 15% of the population and they still in the modern era had all these statues to themselves you'd be like huh how does that work how do people who are the majority tolerate that? But I'm sure you have your own theories. So I'll leave you guys to that. And I'll just give you guys a wide shot of this monument here to the people who committed genocide here. All right. And so as soon as you leave the coast, you're right in the center of the old town of the city. I'm going to show you some of these streets here. Some of this German architecture.
and I know I'm not crossing in the crosswalks but I think it's gonna be okay there's not exactly a lot of traffic right now so we're gonna roll with it so we got a coffee shop here looks well attended I don't think you could think of a more German name if you sat there and tried. So we have the Fachwerkbiergarten. Fachwerkbiergarten. It's a German beer house from 1899. astounding that they've only been here for less than 150 years 1899 that's what 125 years ago exactly that's really no time especially when you compare it to even the Americas we don't even have to go back as far as Europe in 1899 you already had street lights in Philadelphia, you had fire departments, you had rails, you had subways, everything you think of as modern. And here there was nothing, and these people were still colonizing. So I'm gonna walk down this street, which has a little bit more of that European German style so you can see they slapped this together once they arrived and said let's make it look like home and they succeeded as you can see a tabactionist Liederwachen is all in German, Damen und Herren, which is ladies and gentlemen, salon here. Hoffen und Malt, Gott erhalt. Whatever that means. I really feel like I, uh, I fell asleep and got on a plane and woke up in Germany. <laughs> Honestly, in 2024, there's probably just as many black people in Germany as there are here. Aha! <laughs> now nah, I'm messing with y'all. But seriously, I've been to Cologne before, I've been to Munich, and if you walk the streets of those cities, even Frankfurt, it's not as... European the people as you would think you've got women walking around with headscarves you've got um, you know people from any place in the world that you can consider so I guess on some level it's kind of appropriate that these folks are here and the folks from here are over there how that works in 
so everything is pretty much shut down here in downtown it's Saturday it's almost 530 and here I guess that's considered really late everything pretty much shuts down around 4 5 at the latest Focus, man.